backlash today over a New Jersey school's policy that the attorney general's office says is discriminatory. Now, the policy is designed as a way to alert parents and teachers of behavior in students that could impact their physical or mental health, including, among other things, a student's sexuality or sexual identity. And now the school is trying to push back. New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson has a story live from Hanover. Anthony. Well, supporters of this policy say parents have the right to know, but opponents say that when it comes to sexual orientation and transitioning, well, those matters should be left up to the parents and the children alone and not the schools. The school board has no right to involve themselves in, in things like sexual identity. That parent did not want to show his face, but this is an issue that has put the Hanover School District front and center of a national debate. On Tuesday, the Board of Education approved policy 8463, a parental notification policy. But the state attorney general says it's discriminatory, stating the policy requires school staff to out LGBTQ plus youth to their parents it exposes them to severe harm to their safety and mental health. In Tuesday's meeting, the board officials defended their actions. All this policy does is require notification, the dissemination of information. The district and the administrators or staff are not taking any action whatsoever. But the reaction from parents outside of the school today shows not everybody is on board. I think that the policy that was voted on by the Board of Education is unbelievably discriminatory against LGBTQ plus children, uh, and it takes away a, a safe haven that kids might need. One of the state's leading LGBTQ organizations is calling the parental notification dangerous because it targets kids based on sexual orientation. Anti-LGBTQ policies passed by school boards are not just harmful, their insidious manifestations of discrimination and bigotry that perpetuate oppression. But a statement from the board asserts the policy is not discriminatory, adding contrary to the attorney general's office erroneous assertions, policy 8463 does not unlawfully discriminate against any student on the basis of any protected status whatsoever. Now the case will head to court and it'll be up to the ju judicial system rather to determine whether or not this policy will ever see the light of day. 